you know, my style is definitely unique, and um, I think that contributes to my success because I started very late, you know, at about 19 or 20 years old, and I didn't have too many amateur fights before I turned professional. And, you know, um, I think my unorthodox style uh, has um, gave people a different look. He, he brings the streets to the ring, you know, he brings that nastiness, you know. Uh, he's nice, believe me, with his hands, but he also can get nasty. Well, it's time to, you know, to win. When I say Kareem, man, it's time to go to war. He's ready to take it there. You know what I mean? He's going there with Uzi shotguns, grenades, whatever he need. You know what I mean? And he know how to use them. That's the thing about it. I definitely possess uh, power and um, I have speed. Um, I'm explosive and um, well, what's different about me is um, my unorthodox style. You know, sometimes you know, maybe I'm, I'm, I, we train for a game plan, and um, some people be like, "Oh, how are you going to come out this fight?" And really, I don't know until I actually see what they're coming with. And um, you know, but for the most part, um, you know, um, I've always been told that people don't—I don't have to train for people; they need to train for me. He is awkward, but um, he got a good style. You know, uh, right when I got in the ring with him sparring, uh, he—you he, could tell he's developed the. Uh, a street, a street style. I mean, I used to fight in the street all the time, but he just really transformed it into a boxing style. But yeah, he's awkward, and that's what makes him hard, hard to hit. The offense is your defense. He's really hard to hit. You know, he comes at you at angles. A lot of people say he has a right hand, but he got a right uppercut too, a good right uppercut. I got a, I got a Pauli Maginali ready for that fight um, against Broner. And um, they was ready to kick me out of the camp literally after the first few days, you know. And um, I, I toned it down. Um, it's funny, I, I have to, to say this because I haven't got this out there. Um, that um, I asked, I'm like, yo, um, I'm like, uh, you know, Mazzanotti, Mazzanotti, I'm like, will you mention me? You know, um, a Peterson fight coming up. So I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, I'm smart. I'm like, yo, mention me. You know what I mean? My name's been out there against Garcia, throw my name out there. So anyway, the dude that mentioned me, none, no times. Yeah, I had a lot of opportunities to miss me through the showtime. So I'm talking to my boy. I'm like, man, okay, I have been, I've been, I've been only going 60% on dude. I'm like, I'm gonna stop him next morning session. I am still revved it up on him, and uh, I ended up getting kicked out of camp. But uh, he said that I was. He said every time I sparred him, the next day he couldn't spar because he was too sore because of the first day that I was sparring. If I sparred on Monday, he couldn't train Tuesday because I was giving him too much work on Monday. With that being said, they gave me, gave me, gave me the boot out of camp. <laughs> I'm done with being anybody's sparring partner. You know, I've never actually been a sparring partner. I've always normally either got kicked out or got bonuses for, you know, doing great and, uh, you know, doing good. But um, going back to Broner, uh, that's definitely a, a, a definitely winnable fight for me. Like I said, he's good, but uh, I've seen a lot of kinks in his armor and I would like to uh, ruffle his feathers. Success comes from the struggle, you know. Um, a lot of champions come from the struggle. It's something about coming from the struggle which give you that nastiness when you when you into that ring, you know. A lot of people that don't come from, I would say, um, the hood, don't have that edge because everything pretty much in their life was given to them. Whereas in the streets, they had to take it. So when they go in the ring, they know there ain't nothing given to them. They got to go on in and take it. Bam! Gotcha. You know, back to, back to uh, Prona, man, you know. Uh, well, uh, like I said, you know, on a personal level, you know, a uh, little cocky, you know, actually very cocky. Actually, you know, sometimes, like I said, I grew up around a lot of flamboyant guys and, you know, um, guys that was, that's, that's just kind of, that like to shine. We call them shiners, you know what I mean? We all like to shine, you know, Bay Area, Bay Area cats, that's how we get down. But for the most part, it's, a, it's when, you, when you're doing too much, you become a little sleazy, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, as a fighter, uh, like I said, I think he's a he's a good fighter. You know, I take nothing away from him. But um, besides his title, if I ever get a fight with him, it's about money. You feel me? Whoever brings in brings in the money, that's who I want to see him fight. At the end of the day, he got miles to feed. So whoever you know brings in the most money, that's the fight I want to see happen. Because I believe he'll beat all of them that you name. You know, there's certain things that we can share, and some things is confidential. <laughs> confidential. You know what that means? That means we can't disclose no information without written consent. Hey, okay. I can talk. Hey, man, so you see how he unlacing these gloves? It's the first one that laced these gloves up. I started from the streets. I started from Ida B. Wells High School in the basement. Ben Batista was there. Been there. You know, uh, not only a 
uh, boxing coach, but a life coach, mentor, able to show me how you can, you know, do what you need to do to your career, take care of your family, be a good hubby, and take care of your children. Life coach, show me about finances. I owe him a few dollars, but um, <laughs> but hey, never. That's a tip I'm on right now. How <laughs> to become a millionaire? <laughs> Definitely love to uh, to get in there with a with a, a Manny Pacquiao for sure before he retires. I mean, um, in a perfect world, Mayweather, Mayfield, and May, man, you know, call it mayhem, call it Mayday. Hey, uh, it's a few more fights to redeem it. I mean, anything's possible. So, you know, I'm aiming for the stars, and uh, you know. Um, Anything's possible in this world. So, with that being said, I, I can see myself um, being victorious at the end of the day out of any of these fights. All of my family is uh, family members, uh, other males, were uh, murdered in the neighborhoods that I grew up in. You know, I fight for uh, I fight for the ones that's passed away and that was murdered, but. For the most part, I fight for life and the ones that's alive now and to show them that whatever they put their mind to do, they can do it. Back, back to the bay. We ain't left, we ain't never left.